Meantime, down here in New York City, three firefighters, veteran firefighters, are trying to do what they can to try to raise some money and also awareness for their brothers and sisters, for the military personnel, for their families who continue to make sacrifices. They have made these sacrifices in the past and they continue to make them every day. For the ramparts we Meet Regina Wilson on the left, Billy Arce in the middle, and Frank Pizarro on the right. And the rocket's red glare. These New York City firefighters formed Beyond the Call Productions. It's something that's in us. An endeavor to make a positive impact on the lives of first responders and those in the military by releasing an emotionally charged 10-song CD to commemorate the 10th anniversary of 9-11 and to raise money for the FDNY Foundation, New York Police and Fire, and Hope for the Warriors Foundation. Three songs out of, uh, out of the ten that we have on our compilation that are original. Uh, the other ones were selected kind of things that touched us personally and spoke to the cause. Former Yankee star Bernie Williams also plays guitar for one of the songs. We thought it was a, a deep-rooted thing within us uh, as being a part of the department to give our skills and traits in order to give back to the families and the firefighters that were lost. Each was profoundly affected by the attacks. Billy was in the private sector at the time, but then joined the department soon thereafter. I was a New Yorker. I was born and raised in New York. You just, uh, you just, there's, there's no way around feeling uh, uh, the emotions of that day because it's just being a part of New York. So um, everyone just needs to just re remember. Frank rushed to the scene on his day off after seeing the events unfold on television. As we approached, you saw nothing but smoke. It was like a war zone. It's like you had to come from two different worlds. Regina arrived on the scene moments after the World Trade Center towers collapsed. At that point, I just prayed and just thought I was going to die. In fact, if not for an earlier decision, she most certainly would have died. You see, Regina was working a double shift on the morning of September 11, 2001, when she agreed to let a less experienced firefighter trade positions with her so he could ride on the truck for training purposes. All the guys in the truck died, so none of the members made it. So as we all look back, 10 years after the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil, Firefighter Frank has this thought. To realize that, you know, we've made a choice to serve others. You know, and I think if everybody did just a little bit of that, you know, the world would be a better place and maybe these things wouldn't happen. And an interesting footnote to this story, Regina Wilson, the female firefighter you just saw in that piece, uh, is a 12-year New York City firefighter veteran. She's actually only one of 29 female firefighters who are answering the call to duty here in New York City. If you want to do anything at all, you can do it. Her challenge now is to convince more women, she says, to join the ranks of New York's bravest, and she is starting with these young kindergarten students. Now, Regina says faith and family drove her to a life of service, and now she's helping the fire department launch a recruiting drive to find some more female firefighters. And joining me now to talk a little bit more about a tragedy that struck a Connecticut family is my colleague, uh, Anthony DiLorenzo. This is certainly a sad story, Anthony. One of the worst, Logan. 